Welcome back to Through the Lectionary in preparation for this upcoming third Sunday in Advent, also called Gaudete. On this Sunday, we are called upon to rejoice. And uh, the gospel appointed for this third Sunday in Advent is written in Matthew's account of the gospel, the 11th chapter, verses 2 through 10. Hear now that text. Now, when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is the one who is not offended by me. As they went away, Jesus began speak to speak to the crowds concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man dressed in soft clothing? Behold, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way for you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Okay, so uh, we are introduced now in Advent for the first time to uh, to John the Baptizer. And again, as... as uh, Tradition has kind of shifted over the last 50 years or so with what preparation looks like in Advent. We don't so much expect anymore to hear this account of John the Baptizer, uh, but more so about his birth with uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth and all of this. You know, more uh, shifting toward the actual Christmas uh, account altogether as it is given to us in Luke's gospel. But historically, this is this is our introduction to uh, to John the Baptizer during Advent. He's in prison, and John has a question. Right, he's in prison. Uh, he knows, you know, likely what's about to happen. Uh, you know, he's he's going to have his head cut off, but he's hearing about the deeds of the Christ. Now, remember, this is not some random person he's hearing about. This is his, his relative. This is the one of whom he looked out from beyond the Jordan and pointed and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So this is not just a, a random person or uh, not even somebody he, he has never seen or met before. This is the Christ. This is his relative. Jesus. But John is in prison, and he wants to know if if Jesus is the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? Things don't necessarily look right for John. And how often does this happen where, uh, you, you know, you'll be, you'll be living in your life, and you know who the Christ is, who he said he is, and who you trust him to be, but because the things of this life, you know, just aren't seemingly being resolved, you wonder, okay, is Jesus the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus' word to John is concerning what first he hears, and then he sees. So the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the good news preached to them. And blessed is the one who is not scandalized by me, who is not caused uh, to stumble because of me. Now, Jesus says this as a fulfillment of what is written in Isaiah chapter 35 when we're talking about restoration, and not just restoration from the exile into Babylon or anything like this. This is Restor, capital R restoration. And Isaiah writes in chapter 35, beginning with verse 5, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. 
Then shall the lame man leap like a deer, and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For broad waters will break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. And he, he goes on. So, when God shows up, there will be this uh, restoration of the creation. Uh, the blind, who before the fall would not have been blind, will now have their sight restored and, and see. So what we're seeing with Jesus is that where he goes, creation is restored. What you hear is that all have the good news preached to them. And this is what uh, John hears from his disciples concerning his Lord Jesus. And again, it's interesting, right? John being in prison, uh, facing his death, knows this, right? He knows, he knows who his relative Jesus is. He knows he's the Lamb of God who is to take away the sin of the world. But in reality, he needs to hear it again. This is what we also need uh, each and every time we gather, each and every time we face uh, joys or trials in this life. We need to hear of who our Lord Jesus is one more time, who he is, uh, died and risen from the dead for us. So John is, is, is wondering uh, if he is the one who is to come or shall we look for another? And he gets that assurance. He gets that word uh, from God one more time. So the text then continues. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds concerning John. So now Jesus is teaching them about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? Well, likely the same thing they went to Jesus to see and kind of uh, a show, <laughs> right? Did you go see a reed shaken by the wind? In other words, did you go shouldn't shock you that he's in prison. Did you think he was going to stand before Herod or the Pharisees and tell them what they wanted to hear to escape trouble? No, hardly. What then did you go out to see? A man dressed in soft clothing? In other words, if they went out to see a prophet, did you go out to see one of those court prophets? You know, again, the ones who would often tell the kings what they wanted to hear. That's who Jonah was. Behold, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way for you. So John, not only a prophet, but more than a prophet. A prophet of prophets. Uh, the last before our Lord Jesus Christ. And not only a prophet, not only one who's in the line of these prophets, but the one who's uh, literally fulfilling prophecy from Isaiah. And this is from Isaiah chapter 40. If you know anything about the book of the prophet Isaiah, and this is the Old Testament written for this Sunday, that there's a shift from chapter 39 to chapter 40. Uh, some uh, critics Higher critics of the scriptures want to say that this is some kind of new Isaiah or a different Isaiah than the one who wrote chapters 1 through 39. This is not so, uh, but once we shift into chapter 40 through chapter 55, you are looking at God's word for his promise, his uh, granting his people hope while they would be exiled into Babylon. Hope for restoration. Hope for going back home. And that section begins with the famous line, Comfort, comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem that her warfare has ended. Her sins have been paid for doubly. And then he gets into this, this prophecy concerning John. So it's all about comfort. It's all about restoration. This is what John is seeking in prison. This is what we seek each and every day uh, of our lives as we look out and, and wonder what in the world's going on and why isn't God doing anything about it. So we, like John, seeking the same thing, and we, like John, uh, continue to receive the, the word of the Lord, what he is doing, that he's not absent, that he has come to restore, that he has 
come to save and to make all things new. This is what Advent is, is all about. It's about the preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as we prepare, we will have these questions. Are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? But we take comfort in the hearing of that word, uh, that Christ our Lord is indeed the one who is to come. And he will come and he will make all things new. Blessed Advent to you all. We'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for taking a trip through the lectionary with me. Like the video, comment down below with questions, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.